what we are going today we are going to do a lot of chakras chakras come from tantric astrology tantric stream of astrology there is one speciality with all these chakras they make your work easier things related to tantric astrology are focused into focused into two major stuff they aim to resolve two major queries first they let you know about those things which you don't know before for example the horoscope that we discussed in tantra level part 2 it tells you few of those things which you cannot know otherwise you will know it through these chakras also gaining deep knowledge into those things which cannot be otherwise known firstly secondarily it makes your work easier it makes your work easy so that with less effort you know the result okay there are very many chakras that we have to cover the first of them being kota chakra all of these chakras come in jagannath hora don't worry now this coat chakra you know what is coat coat means a fort palace kila so for this reason it is known as durga chakra also coat durga is the same thing okay it is in jagannath hora it looks like this chakras kota chakra this looks like this this is for the current moment this is made for the horoscope also so take this horoscope the calculation is very simple i have put it in the pdf also yeah so basically you know there are directions this is east direction so by chamkila rang this is east direction this is south this is west this is north so this is north east this is south east this is south west and this is north west by this uses i think you understand in the vastu course we will visit it again however the nakshatra of the natal moon is placed here and then these three nakshatras going inside the fort then the next four nakshatras coming outside the fort then these three nakshatras going inside the fort then these four nakshatras coming outside the fort three nakshatras going inside four nakshatras coming outside three nakshatras going inside four nakshatras coming outside this is how the calculation is done understood this is very clear now this kota is basically divided into four parts so let's first understand the kota then you will understand the uses so inner circle what is written here is stambh or pillar this internally this is the fort itself safed rang aankhon ko chubh kyun raha hai bhai just a second this is the fort itself in this case fort is four nakshatras asresha visakha shravan and bharani okay then this is interior of the fort in the fort king will live in the interior of fort the people 
essential for the king, the servants of the kings, the commander in chief, etc., will live. Then this is the wall of the fort. And finally, this is the external area of the fort. Okay. In four sections, it is divided in. Now the point is there are four entry and there are four exits to the fort. This is the basic point. Now, fort have two essential planets. Fort, the lord of the fort, court Swami, the guard of the fort, court court Pal. The lord of the fort is the lord of the moon Rashi. So, moon is in Adra. The lord of the fort will be Mercury. The guard of the fort is the Nakshatra lord of the moon. So, if moon goes into Adra, Adra is the Nakshatra of Rahu. So fourth Lord should be Rahu. But here I am Rahu. And I don't use this Ashwini ruled by Ketu stuff. So instead, according to me, the fourth Lord should be the Navamsha Lord of me. Going deeper. So this moon in this moon is in Adra, whatever Pada it is. It falls into Aquarius Namamsha. So the Lord of the, the guard of the fort should be Saturn. So Saturn is the guard of the fort and the Lord of the fort is Mercury. Okay. Essential point. The guard of the fort and the Lord of the fort. Both of them will always be benefic. Okay. For remaining planets, you know the table. Sun is a malefic. Mars is a malefic. Saturn is a malefic. Rahu is a malefic. Benefic, Jupiter is a benefic. Venus is a benefic. Moon is a benefic. Mercury is a benefic. Ketu is mediator. But your analysis will not be based on one planet. So don't worry about Ketu. Leave Ketu out of the table, okay? Basic point being, for the functioning of the fort, the lord of the fort should be inside. The guard of the fort can be in any area, but should not be outside. And lastly, inside the fort, and in the area where other people are living, interior of the fort, there should be only good planets. Outside the fort, bad planets are very good. On the wall of the fort, bad planets are also good. But remember the point, bad planets are attacking the fort. Bad energies are attacking the fort. You want them to be going outside. Good planet should be coming inside. That's the basic point. Okay. Simple. Simple task. In the matters of disease. In the matters of fight. In the matter of litigation. To know about health issues, this fort is used. Anything that I am talking about in this course is from Jatak, natal astrology. And because it is from natal astrology, it can be used in Muhurta, Prashna, Transit, everywhere. Right? So let's come to this chart. This is a natal, this is a natal fort basically. Okay, or let me like recreate this fort. This is the fort that you are looking at right now. This is a natal chart. First of all, natal prediction. You see Mars, Rahu, Ketu are inside. These are malefic. 
they are supposed to give defeat they are supposed to give disease result will happen in dasha andar dasha similarly in the case of prashna also at the time of prashna you will see the court and that will tell you regarding disease regarding fight regarding competition anything as such that will tell you what is going to happen you see there is a disease prashna ruko maza aayega maza aaya hai kabhi abhi aayega so uh, from the jagannath hoda only the court guard we have to manually ah uh, you have to manually it. do yeah. other things are there so if uh, if the moon is in cancer then the moon is the king but the moon is outside the fort correct yeah and that's bad that's bad so it's bad for the moon to be in cancer <laughs> it seems counterintuitive uh, yeah but the but the guard of the fort can be inside and i like this is more dependent on transit so basically you can say moon in cancer gives you a health issue because in the natal court it will be outside but transit is more important or the prashna in prashna the uses of the same in prashna is important ha 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 hmm this is a prashna chat okay the native the bhabhi of the native wife of the elder brother is diseased heavily diseased she is quite some time right now she is hospitalized it is 2020 right now the bhabhi is hospitalized and she have been on heavy medication the chances of her living is very meager what do you say she will live she will die the lord of the fort venus moon into rashi of venus the lord of the fort is venus the guard of the fort shubhamalak technique go to navamsha moon is in the navamsha of gemini the guard of the fort will be mercury only this change you have to do so guard guard what guard will do guard will save what the king will do king will ensure that you never become weak the profile is clear king saves you from weakness guard on the other hand even if you are weak guard is saving you from any infections any disease anything as such in that way weak people can also survive but then in the matter of guard the strength of guard becomes very important king is always powerful but regarding guard guard can be overpowered you know so we have to be careful about it what do you say in this the king of the fort that is venus is in the interior wall where people are living na no? habitation area the guard of the fort is even outside this is on the wall he is guarding the wall and this is the exit path am i right so the king and the guard are leaving whereas two malefics mars and saturn are inside the fort one benefic jupiter is also there but we have to see who is more powerful mars is in revati it is about to enter ashwani it is not retrograde so this is uchcha vilashi sorry this is akin to go into see there is a concept okay i should tell you this planet 
going to his exaltation rashi's uchcha bilashi going to exaltation planet going to his debilitation rashi's nicha bilashi going to debilitation so you see mars become exalted in capricorn in sagittarius it is just to enter the exaltation sign is it is uchcha bilashi uchcha means raised uchcha bilashi means planet is going to get power right so this is akin to what exaltation etc will do so mars is just about to enter his own rashi this mars is powerful up arrow saturn is in uttarashada uttarashada is capricorn uttarashada is aquarius both own rashi of saturn it is also powerful jupiter on the other hand in uttarashada you just see the chart don't worry see the chart jupiter is in capricorn so this jupiter is essentially weak so what you see what is happening inside the fort there are two malefics becoming very powerful one benefic almost losing his strength while the lord of the fort and the guard of the fort are going outside moon benefic saver is completely outside hmm this outside area moon the benefic have to fight with sun and ketu and moon is powerful in rohini so he will be able to fight it he will be able to fight both of them because moon in rohini is very powerful hmm but otherwise other than that mercury in this wall area have to fight rahu can mercury fight rahu mercury of vishaka can it fight rahu of mrigashira remember vishaka falls in scorpio mercury is not powerful here so it will be defeated there will be defeat rahu will win i am is putting arrow over the winner arrow on his side so what should be the result what was the prediction So we never said that. One week to live was the prediction. Death to we don't do. There was one point. She was suffering some stomach related issue. The point was to get it transplanted or something like that. So do you think the transplant? will become unsuccessful or the lady will die without transplant or before transplant come on a little bit complex but you can do it so mars is sitting there so the operation will happen looks like okay. but uh, ketu is losing so i don't know it looks like that uh, operation will happen but it will not succeed see pyal exterior take it as a body exterior okay. part moon is winning so no wound in the exterior part because mars being inside will always not be the case so no wound on the exterior part this helps me differentiate between two scenarios will he be attacked or it will be a natural death natural death no attack otherwise a lo a lost in the exterior wall can be attack the body will be tormented wounded from outside from the exterior to the interior okay Let's see this another case. See, simple it is, no? It makes your work easy. Any kind Young of operation happened? Operation for the transplant? Yeah. No, no. She died before it. Yes, she uh, went unconscious some hours after the consultation she went unconscious now it was 
needed for her to be conscious before the thing happens and she never gained consciousness though she was alive for next four five days but she never gained consciousness after that ketu was sitting in with nirithi ketu was sitting with nirithi yeah so that is also problematic now ketu is what is it is it uh, would it be good if all the malefics are leaving and the benefics are entering yeah that is good condition should improve hmm. and there's another example you see this is a murder this person is asking me the prashna his younger brother is murdered some time ago okay question is simple post mortem should be done how he died will the culprits get a punishment will all the culprits let me be precise will all the culprits get the punishment see court of our serious things no no fooling around din kaisa hoga raat kaisi hogi wo dusri technique mein batayenge this is serious work you see moon is here a dried starts from in prashna because the kota always starts from moon only the moon is almost neglected because it will always be outside in the case of a prashna in the case of a transit the position of moon will keep on changing when you do it for transit you take the kota for the natal chart now you see internally there is no planet so it rules out was his brother having any disease when he died no planet inside no disease no good planet inside neither good health but not disease either so it is sure shot not a disease based death and now in the interior wall there is venus and there is mercury it is being interior wall is being protected by two benefics but the question is not related to protection the person have already died it is not whether he will die or not so that is already done jupiter is outside he is coming inside venus mercury is also coming inside whereas venus is going outside and rest all of that it is a malefic scenario now you see sun in hasta rahu in mirgashira two malefics tormenting this singular jupiter from purvashana this is almost the end of sagittarius start of capricorn just a so you see the principle exterior wall having a defeat is a case of murder interior wall having a problem is a case of disease tantra jyotish you know makes your work simple these two areas anything can happen but for murder versus disease these are the two areas where you will focus Can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. This this principle of uh, about to enter debilitation or exaltation or own Rashi, um, you're taking it for Purva Shada here, which is in the middle of Sagittarius. Is it the whole of Sagittarius gets this? Uh, no, uh, no. Sagittarius is Sagittarius is own Rashi of uh, Jupiter also. So you about say, to go. Yeah, up to twenty degrees of Sagittarius, I will take Jupiter as good. Okay. Close to twenty degrees, I will be taking it bad because it, it will only happen for. venus debilitation after that own rashi and it will happen for jupiter own rashi and after that debilitation for this two planets you have to be degreeically very accurate other planets are okay. other planets and are... do you use this principle just here or in the natal chart elsewhere in the natal chart also in the dasha also in the transit also like everywhere this is standard principle okay 
this you know this junction planets no you see like planet in the seventh house you say direct planet in the seventh house is in the dark half going into the light half right from the eighth house to twelfth house will be the bright part of the zodiac so planet in the seventh house when it is direct is in the dark half and is proceeding towards the light half basically meaning in the dasha of this planet realization is supposed to come from darkness to light no so this concept is used at multiple places going to enter from tamas rashi to a sattva rashi just, just to clarify so if you have let's say um like a planet is in is in a neutral rashi about to enter its own rashi it's very close to the cusp between the two and it, you're running that dasha that dasha will be a, a very progressive dasha for you progressive progressive generally this principle to... yeah this principle you should specifically use in the case of promotions etc this progressive stuff in promotions and all those things if it's right at the end of own rashi about to leave would it be sort of a, a shrinking yeah, over the course. Yeah, around shrinking. And then this is similar to being before the sun versus after the sun combustion. Yeah, before before the sun versus after the sun. Yeah. So you're sort of projecting where it's going. Where it's going. The time related things like to yeah. show. Yeah, yeah. So the basic point being, in a lifetime, a planet will cross the coming ten degrees, and whatever change is happening in the coming 10 degrees, that is what you are supposed to have in the Dasha Antra. Dasha, 10 degree progress will happen from where the planet is to the next 10 degrees. This is well used in the principle of progressions. That is another part. Dasha, transit, progression. Progression some other day. This is what is used. So this is clear. Now you see Jupiter is coming inside, but this Jupiter is blocked by Saturn. This powerful Saturn. So Jupiter will be rejected the entry because of Saturn. Ketu is going outside. Ketu, I don't take much. Sun is coming inside just behind Venus. Rahu is going outside. Mars is also coming inside. What do you say? Postmortem, of course, will definitely happen. It is a murder case. Right? Which areas are affected that you can easily know based on which Rashi, Mars, Saturn are situated in. And because this is the Mars and the Saturn which is tormenting the wall. Rib cage, you know wall is rib cage. Tormenting the rib cage is Saturn and Mars. The houses where Saturn and Mars are situated in are the areas which got stabbed. This was stabbing case. It got stabbed, right? So you can go much into detail. But what do you say? The criminals accused will be under police custody or not? See, Rahu is going outside. Rahu is going outside. Yes, Sanjay ji. So the criminals will escape. escape. Mm, okay. So you are taking Rahu as criminal. We take the approach benefics indicating good result, malefic indicating bad result. You see two benefics are in the inside wall itself. Though one is going outside, one is coming inside. One benefic is out. So what happened out of the four accused, three of them were caught. One is still on the go. It has been quite some time, I think two, three years since the case. So one is outside having some good contacts. And the three of them are inside. Am I very clear? So the point once again. So the point is simple. The point that I am making is simple. Once again, let's visit the basics. In the quota, what do you want? Internal wall to be protected. Internal wall, there are Marth, Rahu and Ketu. This interior should also be protected. 
Mars Rahu Ketu Saturn these four planets are creating health issues this because this is a natal quota health issues they are creating it is generally seen for health issues only health issues and other such mishaps Mars Rahu Ketu Saturn Dasha Antar Dasha will create health issues Jupiter Dasha Antar Dasha will give freedom from disease and misery whatever you say other than that, Mercury, Venus, Dasha will try to improve but cannot. They are outside. Sun, Dasha will not be bad at all. Because it is full outside. Malefic outside is what we want. Moon, you don't consider moon because moon will always be in that area only. Moon will not be moving. This is the general analysis. Okay. So, Jupiter is also debilitated. So, uh can give only little relief. You can say that. It can give only little relief. Or rather you say this Jupiter will not give healing. It can just stop the further progress of disease or it can give the relief in pain for some time. For the time that the Shantra Dasha is operative. There is one more step when coming to the natal chart. There is one more step that I will let you know about. Mars Rahu are going outside. Saturn Ketu are also going outside. In their Dasha Antra Dasha, malefic planets, you see, malefic planet in these two areas will be good. Malefic planets in these two areas will be bad. So at the start of Ketu and Saturn Dasha, the person will be afflicted by maladies, person will be afflicted by bad results. As the Dasha progresses, the bad result will be going away, fading away. Because they are going out. Hmm? On the other hand, you say if this Ketu Saturn was in Jeshtha and Mula department, malefics at the place where they should be. In that scenario, I will say, first of all, the Dasha is not problematic. So when you come into the Dasha, there is no problem at all. No major problem at all. And even the small problems that you are having in life, they are also fading away. The same should be told for Mars and Rahu in Bharani also. In the, when their Dasha will come, the person will already be tormented. Though the torment is supposed to continue, but the progress will be declining. So in the starting of the Dasha, much problems will be there. And by the end of the Dasha, the problems will be fading. This is a decreasing step that is being there. On the other hand, if malefics are coming inside, by the start of the dasha, you are not having any problems at all. And as the dasha is progressing, more and more problems are coming. Knowledge is coming to your head or not? You tell. All right. Understood? Very good. The same for Mercury, Venus. Mercury, Venus are coming inside. Benefics coming inside. So first of all, see, this is the wall department. So much good is not there though. But they are coming inside. The start of Mercury and Venus Dasha, much good is not there. But as they are coming inside, progressively better things will happen. Right? Sun also is coming inside. At the start of Sun Dasha, good things. See now, Sun the Malefic is already in the exterior wall. So it is not very bad. But still in the Dasha, as you further progress in the Dasha, problems will increase. However, because sun is already outside, the increase of problem will not be problematic at all. It is okay. You say increase of difficulties are there. It's not like you are getting an enemy or you are getting a disease. Whereas malefics here, Saturn, Ketu, say they are entering. You see, they are in Swati. They are in Pushya. They are in Ashwini. They are in Abhijit. Then they are very bad. In that scenario, the problems are increasing and increasing to a whole different extent, you know, is becoming very bad. Okay. So, what if uh, there's like, a... yeah, go ahead, Pyle. Yeah. So, so basically, it is better to have malefics uh, in the outer wall uh, in correct east west north south direction mm -hmm. and better to have uh, benefits towards the mid direction. Mm -hmm. So basically, inner two walls, you want benefits. 
yes. also you want them coming inside yes. benefits going outside give protecting you but the protection is fading benefit coming inside protects protecting you it will increase day by day outer two walls malefics are there malefics are good coming inside they will be problematic as time passes by going outside they will remove troubles as the time passes by is the basic concept thank you what if there's like a relatively even match between benefics and malefics in let's say one of the interior walls or then you have like, to take the powerful ones who is the winner Based i'm saying if there's no there's no real difference in power they're all relatively the same you have to use shadbal difference in power okay. you have to create okay oh, one question mm -hmm. when the king himself is mm -hmm. sitting in the outer wall mm -hmm. Does it not make the... Yes, it will uh, definitely do, Sanjayji. This is a good point. It will definitely do that. Okay. When sun is sit... See, now, the pro... now there is one more point. See, problems are coming, but you see, the Lord is Mercury, the God is Saturn. Now, though this Saturn is bad, the king is almost outside, Saturn is bad. Now the point is, see, health problems you may be having. I give you an example. There is someone who is suffering from a major heart issue. See, a major heart issue comes by. So this is a major issue. But if the guard is, if the king is inside, the guard is inside, this is a major problem. You get a transplant, it is successfully done. Right? So the guard and the king decides the impact on you. Right, so because the guard is, see, the king is outside. The guard is on the interior wall. Now see, guard or king in the interior wall. Another guard or king in the outside wall. If both of them were in the interior wall, I will say problems will come by, that, but the person is very strong. He will go over it, it is like having diabetes. You are having problem, but you don't die of diabetes. This particular setup, guard inside, king outside. Rather, you want king inside, guard outside. That is the setup. In this particular scenario, disease will come and it will obstruct many of your works. You will have to leave your job because of disease and many things you will have to do. Both of them outside, disease will come, you will die. Short life scenario. Right. Understood. Very good. Sir, what if uh, the Lord and the God are saved because of the technique we are using? Mm -hmm. Then uh, what happens? Then singular planet you have to use and when God and King are the same, it is treated as a King. And it have double okay. power. Yeah. This is a good point. Garden King can be same also. Okay. Very good. The same setup that you have understood right now is used in transit also. Sir, one more small doubt. Yes, but sir. let's say the king becomes a malefic. Mm. And a malefic inside is bad. Mm. The king, even if he's a malefic, he's good inside. Okay. But malefics outside are good. Malefic so king outside. being a malefic outside also will be good. Or no, king should all king and king and guard should always be inside. Okay. That's the okay. basic. And the malefic nature, if the if the malefics become king or guard, they become benefic. If the benefics become king or guard, they are even more important. Okay. Understood. So that means a guard can be a malefic. There is no, no guard can be a malefic. Yes, yes. Okay. God can be. Now see current transit. Health problems. My only department is health problem. So I want to reconfirm one mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. So God, if he's in the outer wall, should be going outside or coming inside? See, Payal, God... See, that depends on the scenario. The basic point is malefic inside, king inside, malefics are attacking the king, guard coming inside is good. 
Malefics are outside, king is inside. There is no malefic inside. That means guard going out to fight them is the stuff. So you have to take where are malefics. The basic point is king should protect the fort, guard should fight the malefics. King is support. inside with malefics, guard going outside is a scenario where the king will be alone to leave, the guard is running away, it is a problem. Okay. So, yeah. sir, if it is like uh, malefics are outside, let's say, and uh, the benefics are inside, but the king is outside, mm -hmm. and so then we should see whether the guard is going uh, inside or outside. The king or not. Yeah. So if, if the king is outside and guard is moving outside, then he will save the king? He will save the king. In prediction, what will happen? Problems will come. It will torment you for some time. But mm -hmm. guard will come to save you. And before the break even point, help will come. Okay. On the other hand, you say king is inside, guard, king is outside and guard is coming inside. He is not going to save the king. What will happen? King will die. So you say in this scenario, say that is a case of litigation. So though you win the litigation, because guard is coming inside, he will save the foot. But because the king have died, a greater loss will occur. Because king we want to save. King, the saving of the king is the basic point. King and the foot, both. So sir, in such case, if someone comes, you will be you would guide them not to get into litigation because yeah. even if they do, mm -hmm. they're going to lose more than they're going to gain. Yes. So avoid okay. the litigation. Okay, sir. Now see, let me put the transiting planets, then you see how it is written. Saturn in Dhanishtha, Jupiter in Uttara Bhadra. Rahu in uh, Bharani, Ketu in Swati. Rahu in have, Bharani. Before we go to transit, I have a question. So the moon... The moon is in one nakshatra for a whole day and there's no there's no ascendant here so every single human being born in the world on a day has the same for it is there anything that personalizes it and not as such Alec. not as such though you can take the see the court guard will keep on changing as per the normal. Like you have to take it you have to take it with a grain of salt because on any yeah. given day people are going to be born who have excellent health terrible health yeah, 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 of course, of course. Alexi, okay, in, this particular, much, 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 yeah. in this particular scenario, specifically, the prime purpose of the quota is only with respect to Prashna, where it is primarily used, and it is primarily used in transit. The users of natal chart, I think I am the only one who is telling you to use it in the natal chart. In Dasha and Tardasha analysis, it is all good. But yes, now based on the natal chart position, you can tell a health situation, right? That you can do. But yeah, see, if the moon goes into a Gandhant, he will be in the Gandhant for almost the same day. Right? So there are other permutations and combinations that we will have to use. And also the strength of the planets based on the Shadbal can be variable over the day. So that will be changing the game. It is here, right? So, four or five major planets we have taken. Let's take Mars also. This is in Mrigashira. So, what is currently happening with the coat of the person? We have to know about the health of the native. Rahu and Mars are going outside. Saturn is going outside. Jupiter is coming inside. Hmm? Now see, after Mrigashira, Mars will go into after Mrigashira, Mars will go into Adra. Adra. Yeah. The motion will change. Mars from going outside, he will be coming inside. Right? Saturn is going outside, it will take quite some time to go. Rahu is also going outside, he will take some time to go. Ketu is coming inside, but the best time taking Ketu as a neutral, negligible almost. Jupiter is coming inside, he will continue coming inside. 
so what i will say up to the fact up to the time since the mars is transiting mrigashira the health conditions are supposed to improve as soon as mars enters adra it will not be improving it will be constant constant why one malefic will be entering one malefic will be entering all fine this will <coughs> remain up to the extent jupiter goes into kritika after jupiter have passed kritika at that time what will happen by that time saturn will be inside rahu from bharni it will go to ashwini rahu will have a different motion so rahu do you see he is going outside but he is basically coming inside only but sir saturn is going outside Because Saturn is retrograde. Oh, sorry, yes, sir. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, Saturn is going outside, so Saturn will go outside. Rahu will be coming inside. Rahu right now is inside also. That is problematic, indicating the person is already having a problem. But this is an increasing. This is a time what is going better. As Mars enters into Adra and goes on his journey inside. Jupiter will also be coming inside by that time. Rahu is already inside, so you will say though the health positions are not supposed to deteriorate, but the improvement that the person is constantly facing should also not be there. So it is a normal healthy scenario, no healing, no disease kind of a case, right? Now Jupiter will exit Kritika. Mars will be somewhere, somewhere. By that time, Rahu will also be in Ashwini. You say, and you say Saturn changes his position. Saturn also becomes coming inside. So what will happen? Three malefics coming inside, one benefic going outside. This will be coming of health issues. Basically, troubles rather than health issue. You should be using the word trouble. health issue litigation disappointments whatever this is how you use it in transit with this planet with respect to nakshatra whether they are coming inside or whether they are going outside and how the result is happening and to further fine tune it this month the problem will be there or not you will use the mercury and ven mercury and saturn for the native because saturn is the fourth god and mercury is the lord and saturn because saturn is the fourth god saturn coming inside will not be terribly bad but see it is a malefic you cannot eliminate that saturn is a malefic it will give health issues but because he is the god of the fourth health issues will be sneezing fever etc which are not very detrimental for humans at least ayurveda believes that animals cannot sustain fever and as soon as animal gets fever they die but humans are better animals in that way that we don't die with fever at least now this is how you analyze it but the major point with kota is it is primarily used with prashna or primarily used when a question is question is raised up because otherwise you see this transit keeps on happening right this transit keeps on happening so the uses is only at the time of inquiry you see tantra jyotish works on a particular aspect that person will come to an astrologer only when they are destined to get a help if they are not destined to somehow they will not come to the astrologer or they will not come to the good astrologer that you people are now this person having an health issue going to an kp astrologer is his own fate i'm not destined to have that so, right getting my point it is dependent on that additionally in dasha you know the technique that we were talking about tomorrow right let's not talk of the technique keep it secret but it have to be used at that place also if you see in germany what happens no the dasha for prediction phalit dasha is different and the dasha for health and longevity ayu dasha is different what they do there we believe that disease is a dharma of body misery is a dharma of life 
because you are born human you will be suffering with diseases and you will be afflicted with miseries in life that is a dharma you cannot escape it so jaimini have two ways the dharma of the body through ayudasha the result through phalita dasha in other in other systems where there is no differentiation see jaimini comes from tantric astrology as i have told you in other systems where there is no differentiation you use two different aspects of it techniques such as kota chakra only for misfortune normal techniques for normal analysis and then few techniques like the one we were talking yesterday those techniques are hinted at indicating both the things at same point of time but sometimes what happen why i told you that you know the tantric jyotish makes your work easier based on yesterday's technique to different <coughs> so to differentiate between the good and the bad result can be a little bit difficult also so when the difficulty arises in you use the kota to be very precise about what how much of misery is there and how much of good result is there so the power with kota is you can occasionally use it you know when the birthday is happening kota used on the day of the birthday today sun is exactly reaching the point when he was at your birth time the entry of the tajik chart you know we use tajik chart very strongly because the result of the tajik chart you know when we were doing tajik course we analyzed a few horoscopes of tajik course last year december almost we did finished or this december is coming one year is about to pass anniversary of the course we did a few analyze few analysis of few horoscopes the predicted results as it have to be came true it's we believe in that so whatever when the birthday happens in the tajik horoscope you take the position you use it for that day if you want to see it for the month the day when moon comes back to the same nakshatra same degree same degree in the same nakshatra when moon is coming in that particular month you make a kota for that month the importance for the real uses of kota is a particular time you make kota on that particular time and it elaborates all the good or the bad result that is happening in that month basic point being it is a fort the fort of your body and all the struggles and all the fights that are that is happening it indicates that understood very good and all the tantra principles whatever you will learn after that is basically depending on that linchpin of time the linchpin of time is the when the question is asked that is the time you know the basic bolt of time the basic crux when the question is asked so basically used in prashna i also use them in natal chart let me be very honest with you because the, there is nothing more important than the birth moment and if you have a weak constitution even even you know little bit bad the shas will torment you if you have a strong constitution you need not worry so i use it for birth chart or for any special time moon coming to the exact degree of your nakshatra in that particular month sun coming to the exact degree of your natal sun and in all these crucial moments you use this techniques of tantric jyotish and you get an easy result which otherwise is difficult to find you know to find the disease is quite a difficult task kota makes it easy right good <clears throat>